There are growing calls for North Carolina's Republican candidate for governor to drop out of the race. A report by CNN alleges that Mark Robinson made a series of inflammatory comments on a pornography website. Our Ed O'Keefe is following the story. We are staying in this race. We are in to win it. And we know that with your help, we will. But that's in question now. CNN first reported a series of past anti-Semitic and sexual comments by Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson on at least one pornography website with a username matching photos of him and his biographical information. In posts dating back to 2008, Robinson called himself a black Nazi, expressed support for reinstating slavery, recounted secretly watching women shower when he was a teenager, and made other lewd comments. He denied it all today. Those are not the words of Mark Robinson. You know my words, you know my character, and you know that I have been completely transparent in this race and before. But Robinson canceled scheduled campaign appearances today and didn't show up Wednesday at a rally for GOP vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance. Former President Donald Trump has praised Robinson on the campaign trail. I think you're better than Martin Luther King. I think you are Martin Luther King times two. Robinson was given a national platform by speaking at the Republican convention, where we caught up with him. Lieutenant Governor Ed O'Keefe with CBS News. Hey, how, how are you, sir? We got, we got to run. I'm How's your race? It's going fantastic. It's going fantastic. Yes, sir. Recent polls show him trailing Democratic candidate Josh Stein, who today said North Carolinians already know Mark Robinson is completely unfit to be governor. Ballots are already printed in North Carolina, but state law says candidates have until midnight tonight to drop out of any race. So if Robinson does so, the state's GOP executive committee would pick a replacement and voters could vote for the new contender by voting for Robinson on their ballot. Members of both parties believe his unpopularity could drag down Trump and help Vice President Harris win battleground state North Carolina. Lindsay? Ed O'Keefe, thank you.